Hey, what's up everybody and uh, welcome to BookDanceJobs.com. My name is Brian Henninger. Um, I wanted to take a minute to just introduce myself to you guys, tell you a little bit about this book that this website's all about, and kind of why I wrote it and decided to um, give this resource to the dance community. So a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a professional dancer. I've been working in the industry now for a couple of years. Um, had the amazing opportunities to work with Mary J. Blige, to be on Saturday Night Live, to travel uh, all around the world to places like Japan, to teach and both perform as part of different shows over there, and really just being able to experience the gambit of what the dance industry is and being a professional dancer is. And um, in that time, I've learned a lot. Um, I've certainly seen things that work for people, what to do to book jobs and have a career and what not to do. Um, and what I noticed is a lot of people who are new to the industry, a lot of people who are newcomers, um, make a lot of the same mistakes and have a lot of the same questions. So a lot of my friends that started in the industry after me um, asked me, you know, how do you get an agent? How do you find out about auditions? Uh, how should my resume look? What should I look for in a good headshot photographer? Just really all the questions that you need to ask and you need to know the answers for when you start a dance career. And until now, there hasn't really been one resource that really puts all that information in the same place so that newcomers, people who are just starting on their dance career and their journey as a professional dancer, have all the insight and information they need to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that people fall into um, as newcomers to the industry. So some of those pitfalls might be, you know, hiring someone who isn't really good at taking headshots to take your picture and paying them you know upwards of three hundred dollars a lot of times a lot more than that four hundred to five hundred dollars to take your pictures and then just finding out you can't use any of them and they're not really usable headshots and you know they're simple things that if you had known that before you hired that photographer you wouldn't have made that mistake and, and wasted all that money um, things like what classes to take where to focus your training, how to really take class if you're trying to audition and book jobs as a dancer. Um, all of these things are, are things that most people in the industry learn by trial and error and it takes them years to master and years to really get the insights they need to not waste their time and make sure they're making the right steps forward in their career. So with this book, what I really wanted to do was give you guys, give anyone who has the dream of becoming a professional dancer the resources necessary to have all the questions that they have in their heads and in their minds answered and have a roadmap to go off of, to know exactly what steps need to be taken every day to be able to ensure yourself that you have success and longevity in your career. So what I did for this book is I didn't just go off my experience because that would be one-sided. I talked to all of the dancers that I've ever worked with. Um, I've talked to choreographers that I've worked with. I'm talking about people who have worked with Britney Spears, Beyonce, Rihanna, Mary J. Blige, Jesse J, people that worked on Saturday Night Live, people, people that have worked in Broadway shows, really the gambit of the dance industry. And I asked them all of the questions that a newcomer to the industry needs to ask, a newcomer to the industry needs to know. And I really picked their brains for the insights and the do's and don'ts of being a professional dancer. And then what I did is I took all that information that I got from them and I distilled it down into only the most important tips to your success in your career and I put it into this guide which I called Book Dance Jobs the Ultimate Career Guide for Professional Dancers. So literally everything you need to know to start your dance career and keep it going and have a long, a long lasting and successful career and be able to support yourself as a dancer is in this book. So this book's right around 96 pages long. It covers everything from how to get an agent and not how to get an agent the way that all of your friends have always told you to submit to an agency, to wait till they have an audition, no. How to get an agent by networking effectively, by connecting yourself with the right people, and by branding yourself and advertising yourself in an effective way using all the tools that are available today from social media to just old fashioned networking and handing out your business card and making connections that way. Uh, we get into the art of auditioning, so the audition process from beginning to end, from typecasting, what that is, how to deal with it, how to dress for an audition, what to pack in your audition bag, to every single step that happens at an audition, from eliminations, to learning the choreography, to freestyle, to callbacks, to when you actually book the job, what happens then? How do you conduct yourself on set? How do you conduct yourself in rehearsal situations? How do you communicate effectively with producers, and agents and all of the people that 
work in the industry on the other side of things. So dancers are the entertainers, we're the performers, but how do you c communicate effectively and build relationships that will get you booked again and again and again on jobs with the people that have all the power? So really everything is covered in this book. Uh, we get into other things like career transition for dancers, what to do after your dance career is over, how to transition smoothly into what you wanna do after performing, parallel career paths for dancers, so things that you can do to make money that are still within the entertainment industry and still in line with your passions as an artist to be able to support yourself when maybe the jobs are drying up a little bit and there's not a lot of auditions going on because that happens in this industry. There's ups and downs, there's ebbs and flows. So what I really think that I accomplished and nailed on the head with talking to all the people I've talked to for this book and really putting forth the effort and bringing all this information together is I think I've finally given dancers and professional dancers who are starting out in the industry and those who are still somewhat new to the industry, maybe haven't really gotten their big break yet, I've given them the roadmap of what to look for and what to do every day in their training, in their networking, and in their overall lifestyle to be able to effectively position themselves, to be able to support themselves for a long time as being a professional dancer. So I hope you guys enjoy the website. Please read through, check out the free chapter, um, check out all the different features in the book, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy what you see. And stay tuned, we'll have more stuff coming up for this website, bookdancejobs.com, in the near future. We're going to have interviews with industry insiders and a lot of great information that I'm going to be providing for free as well uh, to people so that they can boost their careers to the next level and really be able to enjoy their life and do what they love every day and make a living at it. Because that's really the goal, isn't it? All right, I hope you guys have a great day. This is Brian Henninger again for Book Dance Jobs. We'll see you soon.